So I'm going to bring Sifu James on. We've been doing incredible work with this energy paper. The energy paper will assist you to come to a 528 hertz frequency. That's where heart resonates. That's where peace is shifting. So I'm going to bring um, James on to teach you, to show you how to do that. And then we're going to do an energy clearing exercise. So I really need quiet for this. And those of you on online, there's no problem because you're sitting in your living room. <laughs> James? So see for James. Not over there? And uh, for those of you that are sitting in your seats, what I'd like you to do is, if you can please put all your purses, bags, books on the ground beside you. And what I want you to do is take the energy paper. Can I have one? Uh, who does not have an energy paper? Okay. Um, who, uh, Rick, who has energy hello? papers? Okay. This one. Can I... Rick, can you please pass it, whoever, keep your hands up. So what you want to do with the paper is you want to hold it between your hand. We will do that later, right in the presentation. Okay, so just hold it. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do that later. Okay, so I just want you to hold it for a second now so that the numbers are up and just hold it between your hands and just take a deep breath. You don't have one? Okay, and then just rest it on your lap once you've done that. So it's, a, it's in a position as if you were going to read it. Just let it rest on your lap while uh, Sifu James talks, and then we will be doing an exercise with it. Okay, so see you back shortly. Okay, we are here to talk about the power of consciousness, right? Now... I look at the power of consciousness from a point of energy, right? Now, how do I work this thing here? No, I have to tap onto the next page. Okay. We're looking from the, from the point of energy, and the best way to learn energy is actually to do this. So let's play with energy. Okay? Now, put your, put your left palm up and the right two fingers facing it. Oh, you don't have to put it up here. It's just easier for people to see. You can do it down here if you like. <laughs> All right? <laughs> now, when you do that, move your two fingers. Do you feel the breeze on your palm? You're actually shooting out your own energy. Now, so don't tell me you don't have energy. We have energy. But how strong, how weak? It describes all your characteristics of you when you're doing that. Right? Now, you can actually go miles if you do that. If your energy level is really high, you can, you can share your energy with everybody. Actually, our energy is spread out. Never keep, keep to yourself. You're actually expanding your energy all the time. Now, so then what happened now? The next step is try this. Hang loose. Just raise your palm. Do you feel the breeze on your palm? You are now communicating with the universal energy around you. Right? Same feeling. Same feeling like this. Your palm actually feels the energy moving. It also tells you a lot about yourself. If you feel the, the breeze on both palms, are they the same? Same amount of breeze that's moving. If it is not, then you know you have some problem. You have some blockages. Okay? Now, after that, what happens? We can communicate. Then how do we influence our own energy? Okay? Now, let's do this one. Let's try this one now, okay? Now, you, you, you move it until you, you feel something is blocking your hand. There's an energy block right here in front of you, right? Now, say, I hate you, and see what happens. It collapsed. 
your hand, your, your two palms are actually come together. Because your energy is now shrinking. Just because of that, your energy level is all the way down. Okay, now you say, on the, other, on, on the other way, you say, I love you. She is expanding. Right? It's your thought that will influence the energy. So if you always in the mood of hating something, like you hate your job but you still have to go into, to work, it's not, not a happy, happy feeling. And you will get sick because your energy level is so low. You couldn't bring yourself back up. Okay? Now, so we're coming to this, this scale of energy frequencies. Now, if you see it on the right-hand side, around 200, level 200, that's the breaking point. If you're below 200, you're contracting. If you're above 200, you're expanding, especially if on the love energy, you're at 500 level, right at the top line. Right? So when you say, I love you, see your energy actually expanding. With that, you actually influence that people around you, you influence everything that's around you. Okay? Now let's play again. Then we say, okay, I love you. Can you how long can you keep it there? I love you. She is expanding. Right? Just wait until you say, I hate you. I hate you. It's collapsed. Now, if you want a good health, good energy, you have to keep the level up. Okay? But how are you going to keep the level up? So we try something else. Let's raise our energy to 528. Okay. Right? Now, this is easy. Once again, it's very easy. Just say 528. Your energy actually now raise it up to five to eight level. Don't let other people say you have to do all this work before you can get so far and then you go that way. No, no, all you have to do is go five to eight. If you like, you can go a thousand. Right? When, when they say you're a thousand, you're enlightened. Right? But you never keep, keep it there. But let's, let's do it five to eight. Right? See so you expanding fast further away. So that means your energy level now, at this level, you actually expand and spreading far away. So let us do that for about five minutes and see how, how you feel. Right? Just close your eyes and say five to eight and let it expand. Five to eight. Just say five to eight and see how your hand expanding. Pay attention to how you feel. Next slide. Oh. See? The L. Now, how do you feel? Do you feel calm? All your trouble seems to disappear. Right? For that moment. Now, take a deep breath. How do you feel? You feel bubbly. Bubbling, happy, wide open. You're not wide open at five to eight. And you feel love too. Those are the, the things you experience right now. You feel lighter because it's all open up. Okay? Now, since we are at five to eight, and try to say I hate you. Right? 
see, not much movement. You are at a better level. When you try 500, it will come down. But 528 is a resonance frequency. So you're resonating at 528, that's why the energy won't collapse. Right? Now, unfortunately, if you do this movement, stand up and walk, 528, what, what, I hate you, it's collapsed. Your energy actually disrupted when you start to do some work or walk around. Right? So that's a, that's a problem. So how do we resolve that problem? Now, this is the paper. You all have the energy paper? Oh, next slide, you will see that. You know, something like this. It's a matrix. It's an 18 by 36 column matrix. This is an energy paper. Now, if you hold the paper and you move it up there, you feel the energy actually coming in and push you back. The printing side have to facing you because you want your body to read the, the matrix. You all feel the energy? Right? Now, but if you want to be sick and don't go to work tomorrow, you turn it sideways. You'll cut all your energy off. Okay? <laughs> so, go to our website and study the do's and don'ts. Just hold the energy paper and try to, try again. Right? Do it again. Five to eight. Expanding. Even if I walk around, the energy is still there. You're still at five to eight level. All right? So keep the paper around. Now, there's two. Anybody can download the copy from these two sites. Okay? Now, please go to the site and study the do's and don'ts. As I say, if you turn the paper around, it cut all your energy off. And you put the paper with your money. Because the money is everybody touching it, the paper tries to clean up the energy from that paper. And then you use up all its power. So, something that you, 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 you look at the site and study those and get a better understanding how to use the uh, energy paper. Okay? That's it. Huh. What am I supposed to say at this one? <laughs> no, 528, I know that. We're almost to the end. Am I, am I on time? Okay. Now, 528 is a very peculiar frequency. Now, for those who have problems with health, now we use it for health purposes. Now, one way to do that is what what we call retransformation. -trans For example, you have uh, the liver, liver issues, you got to chop off half of it, right? Now, to regenerate that, it's quite easy. On your left palm, just think of the current status you have, half a liver, right? And then the right palm, Go to Google and get a good picture of what a good liver looks like. A perfect liver looks like. Right? So you have the bad one and the good one. Now, what we believe in is that we have a master cell. People call it the stem cell. Right? The stem cell is relying on the along the spine, actually in the pineal gland. So all you have to do is imagine that holding the uh, 
unhealthy liver, hold up the stem cell in front of you, and holding the good one. So all you have to say, five, two, eight. So your, your, your left palm starts to move to pick up the stem cell. Just call five, two, eight. Five, two, eight. Five, two, eight. You stop there. Right? You pick up the stem cell, you start to process. Because before the, the uh, liver can be regenerated, it's a lot of work. So there's a lot of processes that they have to do. So it would usually stay there for, for about a couple of seconds. Then you say five, two, eight. You start to move again to the perfect state. Then you say disband. Right? Otherwise, you keep growing. Right? That's one way to do five, two, eight. Or, very simple. Now, when you're at five to eight level, because your energy level is so high, you can actually command things to happen. Now, for example, because I'm at five to eight now, five to eight, now I command that all of your heart is open up. Even people from, from, from the uh, computer. Open your heart. How do you feel? Your heart here actually open up. Do you feel that? Because when you're at a high level, at the 5 to 8 level, you can command a lot of stuff to happen. I'm only specialized in health. But a lot of people are telling you that you can create wealth and health and whatever. That's possible. Because at 5 to 8 level, your energy level is so high, you are communicating with everything in this universe, right? So you can actually, man, can do health repair. Now, the, the, the one example I just choose is to open your heart, because your heart is the one that remembers all your past histories, all your troubles, all your emotional issues. When you open that up, you feel free. Right? So when you're at 5 to 8 level, you just say, open. Okay? They will open. And you, you can feel your energy actually transforming. Just when you're at 5 to 8 level, you feel calm. Your energy level actually tran tran transforming to a better energy. Right? Now, to make it even better, you say, okay, change all the energy around me to support me. Even with the low level energy, change them into high level that will speed up your recovery. Got that? Okay? Last page. Now, what Antonia have done with my energy paper is she cooked the rice and put in the same rice and put in two jars. One is with the paper one without the paper, covering the jar. The paper on the right, since March, is still white in color. I haven't changed a bit. The one on the left, I won't even dare to open the can. <laughs> so that's the power of the energy paper. All right? Okay. Now, so can we just relax and do the 5 to 8 for 5 minutes, then you can get, get the most out of it, because we are all here. With all of us doing 5 to 8, you can feel the, the benefit, you can feel the energy much stronger. Okay? Let's, let us close our eyes, and just do 5 to 8, just call out 5 to 8. Now, when you feel some stuffiness, because you are so many energy in here, the best way to do that is merge all the energies, because they are a five to eight level. So if you feel something stuffing up, up at the chest level, you just say merge, merge all the energies together.
finished. I finished. So when when is that? Yeah, they're doing that. Okay, I'll leave you all to a five to eight level. So what you want to do is um, use the energy paper to assist you to come to a five to eight level. And that's where organs repair, DNA repairs. And, um, I would recommend you go online to masterpiecelife.com or jamesfood.ca, download the paper. There are the instructions there with how to use it. And um, try it every day. The experiment that I did here was just to kind of let's see what happens. There was no intention to change or do anything. It was just, just kind of like a fun thing of let's try it out. So it's now been actually five months. And as you can see, the, the white rice is the rice that um, had the energy paper surrounding it. And the nice, colorful, yellow, grayish, greenish kind of rice, which my kids think is really cool, um, is the one with just a plain paper around it. So it's five months. So we know that it is repairing DNA structure at some level. So I'll keep this going. I'll keep you updated. I don't know how much longer it'll, it'll keep it that clean. It's fun to test. Um, so I recommend you use the energy paper to, on yourself, I recommend you use the energy paper to uh, clear out your water. Uh, you can simply clean out your water by putting the energy paper around uh, a clear um, jar. Think of it as the, the, paper, the water is reading that. And then just try it every day, just do five to eight, just five to eight. And lo notice how your hands expand. If they don't, just give it a minute and you'll feel the pull of the energy. Okay? So with that, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you, Sifu. Okay, got it. Okay, so um, Eric, you want them to reboot online? Okay, so for those of you online, if you can just hang in for one second, we're restarting our system so that you have a clearer picture. Those of you that are sitting, I'm just going to mic up. Uh, Peter, can you shut off the audio? So I personally don't use crystals, okay? because you couldn't decide the particular the frequency, whether you, they are vibrating at 100, 200, or maybe above the 500 level, okay? All right. Any more questions before? Any, any other questions? Is, is there any way to check what the frequency of a, of a crystal is? The way we usually do, is to put the crystal on your left palm, and you can feel whether the crystal, because when you feel that, you open up here. Now, if this open up, if you hold the crystal, you, you can feel the energy actually vibrating all the way through. Okay? So when it gets to here, you can feel. You can, you can 
see whether it's good for you or bad for you. That's the first thing to do, right? The second thing to do is to say, okay, calling 528 and see how, how the 528 energy reacts to it. If it reacts good, then it's a good crystal for you. Okay? It's all individual. Okay, I think um, we'll do one last question and we'll bring Jane. One last question. So the question is, is there another way to think 528 without the words, and is there a significance for the 528? Actually, all you have to do is think of 528. You don't have to spell it out. But not 528. It have to be different 528, because each number represents a different dimension. Okay? The leader of it. How did, how did we come to 528 as the ultimate frequency? It's not the ultimate frequency, but, but that is the question. And then, then we'll the, as you know that I'm a Chinese, right? So we're, from the feng shui standpoint, we're, we're looking at 64 kwa. And then we look at individual three dimensions. If we're using quantum mathematics, you eight one 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 in each factor. So we keep on going up. And it actually hit 5 to 8. Now, when I'm looking at the uh, Dr. Hawkins, that energy scale, 5 to 8 seems to be the right level to start off. It doesn't mean you have to stop there. You can go even higher. Okay? But that's the frequency for energy repair. Okay? 